Mike Deer's only real rock is the Z. The Z. Come on into the Z control room. We're going to meet world famous morning man. Al Thompson. Al, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. I know you're extremely yes, busy yes, here. Yes, uh, sorry, so sorry. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, being a morning man uh, on the Z. Uh, you've been in radio for, what, 100 years now? It's uh, about as long as you, Al. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So pretty close to that. <laughs> So uh, tell me about being a morning man on, on the Z. It's got to be exciting. Yeah, you know what? It's actually it's the coolest thing ever because aside from getting up early, which is, you know, 3 a.m. is when the alarm goes off. So. That's terribly early, isn't it? It's extremely early. But you know what? The neat part about it is we get to come in. Um, we get to play tunes. Uh, Lindsay Young, who uh, co-hosts the show here with uh, myself, uh, Sue and uh, Wally, who do the news and the sports as well. I mean, we get together, and I mean, most of the time we're in here laughing. We actually forget that we're here to work. So we'll catch ourselves at times where it's like, oh, oh, it's, it's, we got to go on, and it's time to go on. And, and, you know, so it is a ton of fun. I don't know many jobs where you're going to have that much fun at it. Now, you've bounced around from different radio stations uh, all the time, uh, but what got you into this business? What, know, what were you thinking of? <laughs> there are times, actually, I would ask myself, what was I thinking? <laughs> but you know what? It, you catch a bug, and it's one of those things, and I mean, you can attest to that as well. It's one of those things where you, uh, you, you, know, you, you get a peek into the business, which is what a lot of people are going to be able to do now with this, is get a chance to see what we do, and all of a sudden it's going, that is a neat thing to do. And I was 15 years old and I had a part-time job delivering flyers for a radio station back in Ontario, and when we were all done, we got to come back to the station and hang out with a guy on the air, and when I saw what went on there and how much fun he was having, it was from that point on, I knew what I wanted to do, and here I am. So uh, what, ki what kind of training do you take, I mean, to get into this crazy business? Or do you need any training at all? just need to uh, be able to BS a lot. Yeah. You have to learn how to manipulate people <laughs> and get them to think you're really good at what you do. Um, I spent a couple of years uh, in college in Ontario. Uh, I took a course. I uh, learned a lot about, uh, uh, you know, just a lot of English, a lot of, uh, you know, partying, uh, a lot of this, a lot of it. it Two years of, uh, of basically hanging out with people, learning about how radio works, and then throwing you to the fire. And it's, uh, it's been a ton of fun so far. I'm glad I've done, I did it, and I'm glad I'm still able to do it. Well, I'm sure you've got lots of things to do, like play music and yeah, talk to people yeah. and that sort of thing. So we'll let you get back to it. So all you have to do is uh, deliver a few flyers to a radio station and uh, bang, you're in, it sounds like. So we'll leave Al alone in the Zed control room. Thanks, Al. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Al. And uh, we'll be listening to you on Thanks. the Zed.